scariest memories is being taken away. I was taken when I was six years so, old. What was happening? I don't understand why I was going to school. Because I see her language, we were punished. But it hit me punished for with a broom. Um, I don't remember my language. language. I would hear crying. A lot of crying from I would the cry kids. my just heart out because I was so scared. These people talk all the time and expected me to do the same. Told me many hearts beating together makes us stronger. They said I should tell my story. That you can't understand where you're going if you don't understand where you've been. Kusse. <laughs> My brother ran away from the school. The white officers wouldn't stop looking for him. My parents had been taken to school as children, and they were never the same. My grandmother insisted we head north to our family's ancestral land. She's telling stories. Bye. Indian horse that's blasphemy. We've got to give thanks to Jesus. I'm never going to the school. Then make sure they never catch you. They won't. I run too fast, and I'll hear more stones. Wait. That one's special. You should keep it. My people are the Anishinaabe the fish clan of the northern Ojibwe. We sprang forth intact from the womb of our mother, the earth. Our cheekbones cut from the granite ridges that rise above our homeland. 
Her heartbeat drums in our ears. We were her stewards and protectors. But we were forced beyond the influence of our legends. He's our son, not yours. We're taking him to the priest so he can get to heaven. Come with us. After us all. We'll be back soon. I watched and waited through fall till the sky turned to the pale, washed out blue of early winter. Kamajame. I never saw my parents again, and I still don't know what happened to them.
Tiwatan, that's the name of the north wind. The old ones gave it a name because they believed it was alive, a being like all things. It descended upon us like the slap of a hand, sudden and vindictive. Shashawa Maba, Kanata Makon.
I read once that there are holes in the universe that swallow all light, all bodies. In what seemed like an instant, the world I had known was replaced by an ominous black cloud. Stand up. Stand now. What's your name? Saul. Well, you speak English very good. My father taught me. And he gave you a fine biblical name. What is your name? In English, please. Let's try again. What's your name? Do you know it? Lonnie. I need something more suitable than that. All right, from now on, your name is Aaron. Tell him. Aaron Kikirago Gikira. Ash go. Nasap into them. Soon when Nirikian Lani. He says his he says Lani is his dad's name. The Lord God is your father now. Your human father has nothing more to offer you. He, he says he's a trapper. He's a heathen. Aaron, our goal here is to help you succeed in this world. So you have to learn English. <laughs> Sorry, son. a good boy. Sorry, Father. Made. Enough. It's no help to him. Who are you to say? Leave this to me. Gather your sheets and take them to the laundry. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
At least you don't have to chew it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. They called it a school, but it was never that. There were no grades or examinations. The only test was our ability to endure. I expect you to learn this for tomorrow. All of it. third time this week I've heard you speaking Ojibwe. Come here. The good God gave you this mouth. He gave you language. It is a very grave sin to corrupt these sacred gifts with falsehood and deceit. Open. <laughs> Open! Go see Father Gaston in the office. <coughs> Forgive me, sister. The boy is already suffering. Soon enough, you'll realize the importance of consistency in building discipline and trust. I was taught that if you win their hearts, you win their minds. And what other theoretical drivel do they teach you at the seminary, Father Gaston? The bow that doesn't bend will break, sister. We'll see what Father Quinney has to say about that. I have a secret place for us to go tomorrow. Meet us outside. Let's go. My grandmother had always referred to the universe as the great mystery. Mystery fills us with awe and wonder. It is the foundation of humility. And humility is the foundation of all learning. So we do not seek to unravel this. We honor it by letting it be that way forever. is in clear contravention of our ideals and practices. There's a difference between leniency and human kindness. It isn't kind to deprive children of guidance. You're quite right, sister. It is our mission, after all. But there are a lot of ways to achieve this goal. Sister, this winter you'll see some changes. I'm going to provide the children with a new outdoor activity. What's he talking about? A little higher, please. Ice drink, skating, and hockey. What's that? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. Look what they're making. Rebecca? Rebecca? 
You gotta let go. No. Come on, Catherine. Don't, they'll lock you up again. Hurry. Please don't, you They're gotta coming. let go. She's back with you again. Rebecca, you know why we forbid this. Because it makes her weak. And? She clings to me instead of the good God, our Father. Put the little one in contrition. No! Oh, no, please! No. I promise to control her, Rebecca. <laughs> Sister, now, please let her go! Please let her go! Our Lord, who was crucified, died, and was buried. The third day he rose again. Your mistake? Jesus only rose once. You suffer from the sin of pride, Rebecca. Go to the corner and quietly continue. Our Father. Saul, stand and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, our Father, how, who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay, but let's keep it simple, okay? Let's just start half speed. Here we go.
look like you've never seen people skate before, so. I don't like games much. Just watch. There's a genuine rhythm underneath all this mayhem. And once you grasp the rules, you start to see it. I see it already. You do? Sorry, Saul, you can't. Father Queenie only allows the older boys to play. You don't have to tell him. <laughs> rules are rules. If I break them for you, it could ruin it for everybody. I can be the one to look after this. What? Do it before anybody wakes up. Nobody will know. Will you keep up your studies and chores? All right, then. All right, boys. That's it. Back to the dorm. The rink became my escape. The ice, my obsession. The game, my survival. Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb.
I saw out on the ice this morning, first thing? Yes, Father. He's helping me. He's doing the morning maintenance on the ice rink. And he's in charge of the equipment locker. As long as he isn't playing. He's too young. Thank you, Father. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Tommy. I'm all right. Let me see. It doesn't look good, boys. But, Father, we need him for the game tomorrow. Try not to stand on it. Let me in. You skate? When did you learn? By myself, after shoveling the ice. What? All right. Let's see what you can do. on TV. That was a pretty snazzy move. You taught yourself that? Yeah. He's too young and too small to be playing hockey. Father, he's the best player on the rink. The others look up to him. No child is so special that it warrants breaching our rules. I understand. But still, I got a hockey game. Quiet, you know. I make mesh keji budoyo. I got to play. Ja o mika one na ni de de mika eji kabeshi yang agojing terishina beyang. Ja o nishin awolani. Ki kijeb wisnuin nga wash kawani. Sorry, Bonnie. I gotta go. Now listen, this is our team's first organized game. The other team is skilled, and they've been playing games like this since they were six. So you go out there, play for fun, play as a team. You ready? Yeah! yeah. Now let's go, boys. you saw. Well done. Well done!
Lonnie. That's all I could get. What are you up to now, Saul? Metal pipes. They weigh twice as much as regular pucks. How long have you been doing this? About a month or so. The workman gave them to me. <laughs> Make me stronger. Marvelous. Nice skating. Fred Kelly. Fred is a team, Saul. So up in Manitowagi. The Moose. We play tournaments on rinks just like this one every weekend in the winter. Right up until breakup. Or until the forwards have to wear flippers instead of skates. <laughs> well, anyways, we love hockey. Trouble is, the uh, Milltown teams don't want nothing to do with us. Because you can beat them? Yeah, because the white guys think it's their game. The reserves take a lot of pride in their teams. Even when it's 50 below, there's a crowd out watching. Tell them what you're thinking, Mr. Kelly. Most of our players, they play junior level hockey. Right now, we're down to center. I was wondering if maybe you'd like to play with us. Fred and his wife lived at St. Jerome's for eight years, so. And I told Fred about you. The Kellys offered to become your legal guardians. That means you can leave St. Jerome. You go to Manitowagi. Attend a regular school. You'll have a home. A real home. I can play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> All you can handle. Yes. Hockey is God's game. It's the perfect combination between human skill and passion. That sport is brutal, devoid Saul's of Christian talent values. is miraculous. Your responsibility is to teach the children humility. Father, I'll have the benefit of a good home and schooling. He has that here with us. I don't know why our Lord chose to grace this boy, but he did. And I've seen it with my own eyes. That shot that he made at the White River game, that was a minor miracle. How does this miracle help him with the rest of his life? Does it support his inner strength, his faith in God? When the hockey ends, he'll have nothing. He'll be in hell. Sister, he has no relatives that we know of. If his parents are still alive, they've abandoned him. And now to deny him a nurturing family or suppress God-given gifts, that's not what we stand for. My father.
Do you want to go a song? Going away, Lonnie? You're going to be all right, OK? I want to go away, too. Look, it won't be long. Summer comes, and you'll be old enough to leave here, and we'll find each other. No, we won't. Sure, we will. Look, we'll, we'll go out in the bush. We'll be trapping, fishing, and we won't come back. Nandy <laughs> winning. Goodbye. Saul, you know, I've been thinking. Hockey is like the universe. If you were right in the heart of it, you'd see chaos. But you, you see the order. The path, the great spirit of the game. That's what makes you so extraordinary, Saul. You have that spirit within you. You are glory, Saul. Thank you, Father. Thanks, Fred. Manitowardji means cave of the great spirit. Funny, since everyone works in the mine. That's why we're here. Tough place, but it's work. Next year, maybe you'll work there too. Huh? What do you think? I like it. It's good. Took me and the boys a couple of years just to get that Fred, right foot hit. For Pete's sake, the boy needs food before he needs hockey. Come on in. Martha, this is Saul. Hi. Welcome to our home. Me and Martha have three sons. Virgil's the only one that's still living at home. And he's captain of the moose. Kind of small. Yeah, he plays bigger. He'll want to. I bet it's been a while since you've seen Bannock. Here's up. Yeah. Shannon? Sorry. So this used to be Garrett's room. It's your room now, though, Saul. Is this the first time you've had your own room? Is it all right? This is your home now. You're not in that place anymore. You're safe here. Welcome to the moose, Saul. <laughs> Number 13, for good luck. Here, try it on. I wore that when I was with the moose. Stand up. <laughs> A little bit. 
Every reserve in the North had a hockey team. We traveled to the tournaments every few weeks. Each team paid about $10 to play, and the winner took home a small purse. They were the fastest, most fluid players I had ever seen. I was in awe of their skill and strength, and more than a little nervous. That's what I call a game. <laughs> he didn't even score, man. Uh, who cares? Bambi did. <laughs> Double overtime. Yes. <laughs> hey, Moose. The Johnson Mill Chiefs are a senior A team. All mill and mine workers. That don't mean they're any good. They're more than good. They were league champions last year. Playing tough teams is the only way us moose are gonna get better. You think it's a brand new arena? Definitely. I seen it. Real dressing rooms with showers and toilets. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere for a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> The Indians. And now your Johnson Hill Chiefs. <laughs> Stay put, you're the first star. What's that? There's three stars. Like a hockey night in Canada. You gotta go back out there. No, I don't. Have to. It's tradition. Go! Everybody's gonna want to play us. I guess those boys like getting their asses kicked. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
They got shocked seeing Indians skate. I think it's their game, not ours. They play for the same reasons we do. The feeling. Nobody owns that. Boys, come on, boys, come on. Anyone Spears, he's gonna pay for it. No matter, I'll keep finding the net. Let them get the penalties, not us. Number 13, you're gonna need an Indian hearse. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Scalp you, Indian. That Indian hearse line is pretty good, though. Take it out. Wagon burner. A nice friendly town they got here. <laughs> Richer beer. Five months. Oh, oh, man. What's going on? <sighs> Someone died? <laughs> <laughs> the old moose knuckle sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Hungry enough to eat an Indian oil. That mother guy sure wanted a bite of him. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing your face got in that guy's fist, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't the squaw hoppers. Win a little hockey tournament. I think you can come in here and eat like white people. What the hell you want? If you want to eat here, you're going to have to fight for it. Is that right? Sounds fun. Save my spot, Saul. So I'll be right back. You play a hell of a game, little star. That and the fact that you're a kid gives you a pass. Wait your turn. You can go next. Your turn. Let's go. Think for sure. Those are the tiniest bunch of pricks I ever seen. <laughs> 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 Everybody's waiting. Coming.
the coach for the Toronto Monarchs. It's a feeder team for the Maple Leafs. He says he'd like to talk to you, so. About what? <laughs> Jack Lenahan, it's all Indian horse. That's all? I'll leave you two to it. So, Fred, tell you why I'm here? Some. I'd like you to play for my team. What do you think about that? Not much. <laughs> With the right coaching and environment, you could play pro. You're incredibly fast. You have a puck sense like I've never seen before. I'm happy playing with the Moose. The great players are conjurers, so they become one with the game. And it lifts them up and out of their lives. That's what happens to you, isn't it? Yeah. You make the ice work for you, so that's why you should be playing at a higher level. You're wasted here. So what the hell happened? He wants me in Toronto. So when's the start? When are you going? I'm not. What? You're kidding. Don't wanna. Look, baby, that don't matter. You got called? We all play the game wishing someday we'll get the call to play with the big boys. Bambi, I'm 26. I've been working graveyards in the freaking mine since I was 16 years old. You gotta give it a shot for all of us. If you don't go, you're a coward. Let it beat you without even trying. And if you stay, I'll be the one doing the beating. <laughs> what if I don't cut it? <laughs> <laughs> you will. You believe that? I ain't the one who's gotta believe it. Time to go. Saul, so, I know you're torn about going. I am so proud of you. It takes great courage to take something like this on. I know you'll do good. So let's go. Some bannock, some food for your trip. Saul, don't forget us. I'm gonna miss this place. Nanatuagi? Nothing to miss, really. I feel like I grew up here. Guess you did. You were a pup when you got here. You're like a brother to me. I had a brother once. What happened to him? My dad never talks about the school. Mom, neither. And they don't say nothing about what happened before that. Same as you. Maybe this is your chance to rub the shit off the board. Once and for all. OK, let's get this show on the road. Virgil, thanks for everything. Sounds so damn final, Bambi. You can come back anytime.
Hey. Fred, you take good care of this kid. He's special. Welcome to Toronto, Saul. It's my wife, Alyssa. Hi, Saul. First time in the big city? Yeah. Remember, you were a part of my family for many years. And you always will be. Ah. You give me your best. Make yourself at home. The kitchen's that way. Fridge is full. I'll go get you some. Come on. Show you your room. They all played for you? They all stayed here. They played for me on the Monarchs and ended up in the NHL. A lot of great players have slept in that bed. They're saying Reggie Leach is going to tear up the record books. He's an Indian kid just like you. Oh, yeah? So there's been a trailblaze for you, Saul. You had your choice of numbers and you picked the only one nobody ever wants. I always have this number. You don't think it's bad luck? <laughs> All right, man. See you out there. Let's go, boys. I'll see you out there, guys. You make me look bad, I'll knock your lights out. Big game out there. Big game. have a way with words. And you told the reporter you learned how to shoot with a frozen horse turd, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to learn stick handling. Don't worry about that, Saul. They've just never seen anyone like you before. I, I've been following you with the Monarchs. I can't believe I'm reading about you in the newspapers. 
a month into the season and you're already a star. You're doing what you always did, Saul. You're making the other players better. It's a miracle how far you've come. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I wish I could keep following your career. The church is sending me away. Where are you going? Africa. To teach. All right. Just wanted you to know. The school. What was happening there? It was wrong. You've got 22 points in nine games. Thanks. We've lost seven of them. You blaming me? 
You've sat 120 minutes in the penalty box. I didn't bring you here to be a goon. I'm giving them what they want, the crazy redskin. You're letting the other teams rattle you with stupid trash talk. You know how to roll off a hit. It's the same thing. And what about the shit that's coming from my own team? You're not skating with your buddies anymore. These guys may be hard towing now, but believe me, they'll take you to the next level. My buddies I could trust. They had my back. It's all. Every kid dreams of this moment. I had dreams once. I don't have them anymore. So listen, I know it's not easy, but if Reggie Leach can do it, you can too. I promise you, get through this, everything changes. You're gonna make it to the show. Then you'll be a role model for your kind. My kind? Yes, an inspiration. You don't know a damn thing about me. All I need to know is you got a gift like no other. I've seen you on the ice. I know what you can do. I know how it makes you feel. And I'm not blind to the fact that it's killing you not to play the way you can. You got no idea what kills me or my kind, do you? Listen to me, it's all, it's all sitting right there for you. This is your way out. Your way to a better life. There is no better life for me. There never will be. I became a wandering nomad with my eyes on distant hills. I covered long charcoal stretches of highway, like a river bearing me somewhere beyond all recollection. It was a dim world, and I felt dead inside. Beyond thinking, beyond emotion, beyond hope. You drink down, because after all the roads you've traveled, that's the only direction you know by heart. of your body and your liver. Another bout of drinking will likely kill you. The Rising Dawn Center is just north of the city. It was the best place for Native people to get help for their addictions. You know, they said they'll take you if you want it. Good luck.
Then the cops, they put me in that foster home. I, I haven't seen my family since. My grandma, she could be dead. I've been too drunk to be looking. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. So, would you like to share? Have you ever wept, Saul? No. You need to find a place where you can. Here with us or on your own. But you need to find it. Your silence is killing you. That's a good boy. It's so good to see you so excited about something. <laughs> rules are rules. If I break them for you, it could ruin it for everybody. Sometimes ghosts linger. They hover in the furthest corners. And when you least expect it, they lurch out, bearing everything they brought to you when they were alive. What have you got, Saw? What is it? First tree.
I came far to make this journey. I could feel my family and my ancestors. It was here, in this place, where everything started and everything ended. I was with them again. One day, my great-grandfather, Shabogizik, walked out of the bush, leading a strange black animal. Our people had never seen such a creature, and were afraid. It is a horse, he told them, and it comes bearing great teachings. A thunder will crash through our hearts and minds. And we must learn to ride the horses of change. It is what the future asks of us. Our survival depends on it. Welcome to the Moose, And you always have them from here. think They didn't understand, they didn't recognize their parents, they didn't recognize anybody in the community. Why was I like that? Why didn't I speak up? To this day, there's a lot of us that don't know how to speak our native tongue. If you succeed going to school, that's great. But I want my grandchildren to know where I've been and um, why I do the things that I do. It's up to we as a community to bring back or have that pride in ourselves. We have a beautiful, incredible, beautiful gift that was given to us as our But children. the more you talk about it, the healing takes place inside you. My name is Julie Oswalkis. My name is Shirley Ida. My name's uh, Larry Teeter, Jr. My name is Saul Indian Horse. And this is my story. Hey! 